Hi, my name is Will Addison. I'm the Group 1 reporter for our HVAC experiment. The main objective is, of this experiment is to understand the efficiency of an uh, air heating unit, to uh, understand the physical components are used in an HVAC, and to understand the variables in the air conditioning equation. Uh, first, before I move on, I'm going to describe the setup of the experiment. We have a small AC unit that's pumping cool air into a, a duct system. In that duct system, we have a uh, relief damper that's basically a door that can open, allowing air to flow out of the system. Uh, beyond that relief damper, we have a split that goes into two chambers, chamber A and B. In between those two chambers, there is a separate chamber uh, held at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And something special about one of the chambers, chamber B, there is a air gap in between that 95 degree chamber and the main chamber, chamber B. In chamber A, it shares a wall with that 95 degree chamber. Uh, basically, there's an insulation layer between the hot and chamber B. So, uh, main procedure of this experiment is to record the room temperature and relative humidity, to open the relief damper, so the damper allowing air out of the ductwork, and close, uh, force close the, the dampers before chamber A and B, uh, allowing them to heat up without cool air flowing into them. Next, we set the supply point uh, to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the temperature of the uh, air coming out of the small AC unit. And once the, uh, the chamber A and B temperatures have reached room temperature, we uh, unclick the force closed uh, selection for the chamber dampers, allowing them to open at their own discretion when uh, the temperature rises above the set temperature. And then we close the relief damper, forcing air through the system into the two chambers. And after this, uh, it's a long process of recording the temperature and flow rate in chamber A and B uh, with 30 second er intervals from, for 30 minutes, so getting 60 sets of data. The main equations used are the ER, which is the energy efficiency ratio. It's the AC unit size rating divided by the uh, electrical input in the AC unit. Next, we have the COP, which is the coefficient of performance. This is the energy efficiency ratio divided by 3.412. And then Q dot is the rate of heat, uh, heat removal, which is equal to 1.08 times the change in temperature times the volumetric flow rate. In this case, it's cubic feet per minute. So the, this is the raw data we gain. Uh, chamber A and B, these are the average uh, values throughout the 60 uh, data sets. The average temperature in chamber A was about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Flow rate was about 33 cubic feet per minute. Chamber B was 76 and a half degrees Fahrenheit with 14 uh, cubic feet per minute. And then these next five uh, quantities are the laboratory temperature, 77.6, the uh, relative humidity, uh, humidity in the room is 52%. Discharge air temperature, so this is the air coming out of the AC unit, is uh, 56.4 degrees. Its relative humidity is 88.5. The apparatus dew point was 56.5 degrees. These five uh, quantities values will be used in finding the coil line later on the psychrometric chart. So as a result, uh, the, volume, the rate of heat, law, of, uh, heat removal, Q dot in chamber A was 736 BTU per hour, and in chamber B was 503 uh, and a half BTU per hour, so well or less than half of chamber A. The energy efficiency ratio was 8.62 BTU per watt hour, and then the coefficient of performance was 2.53. This is the coil line. Uh, all the uh, temperature values were uh, put into Celsius uh, to be put on this chart. This blue dot is the inner condition. This is the room temperature, the room condition, so 52% relative humidity, and it was 77.6, so 25.3 degrees Celsius. This leaving condition is just after the little AC unit, so that 56 degrees was uh, put into Celsius, 13.55. That should be 88.5 uh, relative humidity. Whenever you draw a line between these two points, the entering and leaving condition, you continue that line to the outside of this curve. This is a psychometric chart. Uh, that's the apparatus dew point. So the apparatus dew point I got was 9.5 degrees Celsius, which translates to about 49 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. So if you remember before, the apparatus dew point seen by the program on the computer was 56.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is a little bit less than that. So in conclusion, chamber B proved to be more efficient and that's, that was expected due to the uh, chamber of air insulating it uh, from that 95 degree 
chamber. And the apparatus endpoint was lowered uh, from the, like, was lower on the psychometric chart than was given from the uh, program. Uh, this could be an error in my part due to the, uh, I drew a line on PowerPoint from this point to that point and grabbed certain set little points so I couldn't get a perfect line. Uh, so that might be an error on my point. It was six degrees off. So I, I believe it was close proving that our raw data supported the uh, quantity seen in the program. So any questions? Yeah, like uh, what do you uh, mean by saying that chamber B is more efficient? Uh, as we saw in the results, uh, there was less heat rate, less than half. That means less heat was having to be pulled out, so less energy was being put into keeping that uh, temperature at the set temperature. So chamber B had higher again or chamber yes. A? Yes, chamber B. Yeah. 